whole sheet of facts on him. He's a good guy. To be honored. He enlisted in the Marine Corps and became a member of the 4th Marine Division Company B. During World War II, his company shipped out to the Pacific where they fought in the Marshall Islands until Bud was wounded in the Battle of Saipan. He received the following medals as a result of his military career. Purple Heart Medal of Honor, Asiatic Pacific Campaign Medal, World War II Victory Medal, American Campaign Medal, Marine Corps Good Conduct Medal. In his civilian life, he returned to Spring Arbor, met Beverly Ann Hotby, whose father William was the owner of Hotby's Lumber and Coal Company, now Spring Arbor Lumber, and had two children, John and Terry. Bud served as fire chief for Spring Arbor T Department in the department's early years. He was Cub Master of Spring Arbor Pack 144 from 1956 to 1958 when his son John was a Cub Scout. Bud lived in Spring Arbor most of his life and then retired to Tennessee. He returned to Michigan to reside in 2015 and now lives just outside Spring Arbor. He's a proud grandfather to two grandchildren and a great grandfather to six great grandchildren. It does that describe a hero to you? Let's give Bud Midgley a hand. I think you can do better than that. Organized the fire department. Which green one was the first first chief? Yes, sir. And I, as I looked at the equipment we got today out here, they won't let me five drive one of these fire trucks. <laughs> My rank don't mean nothing. But anyway, I'm glad to see how they have materialized. I was in charge of building the first fire station, which they soon outgrew. But Beverly, we enjoyed living here. We was the first house up on Henderson Road. If everybody turned the corner, we had company. But uh, we, uh, we really enjoyed it, and we're enjoying our retirement in a, uh, independent living quarters right now. I still get the last word into my wife. You're right, dear. I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank you, Bud. I also want to introduce to you today, I, I didn't know until just a week or so ago that Dave Herline is 